Hey Equestrian Gamers, Quilly here and welcome back to another video. The foals and breeding update is here. Wild Horse Islands has finally released their biggest update yet and it is super duper duper exciting. I did pop on earlier and did some recording. It didn't quite work out how I wanted it to, so I will include clips from the old recording into this video. But let's discuss the new update. So for the update, you can now breed mares and stallions together. Now, there are some requirements. So we are currently on mainland. You do need to breed them in the new breeding center. Now, on the way there, look. Isn't that adorable? The Uton trailer is all different colors now. It is so cute. So it's like the baby blue and baby pink, which is super duper cute. But we're going to continue this way on to the breeding center. Here we go. Oh, isn't it cool? Oh, I love it. Okay, let's pick up my horse and have a closer look inside. Open. Check this out, guys. Doesn't it look cool? It looks so good. And thankfully, it does have the storage here as well, which is awesome. I love all the artwork. This is Francine, the foaling expert. And over here is foals for sale. Oh, it just knocked the ball around. Oh, that's cute. So the foals are a lot cheaper to purchase because they are little and it'll take time and or effort to grow them up. But they are so adorable. Look how tiny they are. Oh my goodness. They're so little. Okay, so let's go through the breeding process. So to start off with, you need a mare and a stallion. Now I have already bred some horses, including Isabella. So I will show you guys what their foals turned out to be. But let's start with all the little details. Okay, so talking to Francine here. Oh, someone just joined. Hi. <laughs> so talking to Francine. So all different options. There is a bit of a tutorial, so information about breeding. So you do need a stallion and a mare. Your foal will be a crossbreed between the two parent breeds. The first name in the crossbreed is the dominant breed and is the body it will take as it grows into an adult. So if you cross an Arabian and a Frisian, oh, look, perfect. So like if you cross an Appaloosa and a Frisian, see how Appaloosa is first? That means the body, the look of the horse will be an Appaloosa. Okay, they will inherit one of the parent's coats too. This means you can get a foal with a coat that isn't natural for their dominant breed. You can also get some special coats only found through breeding specific horses together. So watch out for those. There are six of them, I believe. Your foal will also inherit the mane and tail style from one of the parents and some of their stats too. So to keep your foal's purity at 100%, make sure to breed horses of the same breed. The cost depends on how rare the parent horses are. It's cheap to breed common horses, but expensive to breed rare horses. I also charge an extra fee for pure breeding. So when I bred Isabella with the winning stallion, which I will show you, it did cost 11 thousand tokens so it was a little pricey but that's okay because i've been grinding for two weeks and got a lot of extra money ready for this update okay so in the shop we have some carrots for sale of course you can get carrot seeds from treasure chests as well uh, you can grow carrots so there are a couple of other options 
There is a special baby blue halter. You can actually put any halter on the horses. I currently have a Valentine halter on one of the foals. There's also a baby pink halter. They're so adorable. Now for your Robux, you can buy Forever Foal Potion. So feed this to your horse to make them a foal forever. I already know which horse I'm going to turn into a foal. So consumed on use and reversible with a growth potion. So this one here for a thousand tokens is a growth potion. Feed this to your foal to make them an adult horse instantly. So it is consumed on use and reversible with the forever foal potion. So those are what you can purchase. There is also a very nifty item you can get from treasure chests. The item you can get from a treasure chest is a gender swap. Potion, so you can turn a stallion into a mare or a colt into a filly. So these are only obtained as a rare reward from treasure chests and can be traded. They are also consumed on use. Now, I actually went and opened all my treasure chests last night, of course. So I'm going to have to do even more treasure hunting now to try and get my hands on that gender swap potion. That is really, really cool. But let's look at how you breed horses. So I picked up, oh, hi, Queen. Hello. <laughs> so I have picked up a few horses here. So Isabella has been bred. Now there is a cool down. So she is not able to be bred again at the moment. Now to be able to breed a horse, let's pick a horse. Shall we go with, we'll go with Peach Rose. Here we go. So Peach Rose already has 55 of your bond. So you do need 25 bond on your horse to be able to breed. Now no stat is required. So your horse does not need to be fully trained up. Is that a horse? <laughs> it's a horse's head. <laughs> So, oh my gosh, that's the Frisian I'm trying to get, Brie. It is beautiful. Oh, stunning. Oh my gosh. Oh yes, we're trying to get that one there. That's beautiful. So you do not need your horse to be uh, fully trained to be able to breed. So, and you can breed once every five minutes. So there is a five minute cooldown between being able to breed over and over. So the horse's breeding cooldown ranges from 12 hours to 3 days, totally depending on how rare they are. So the common horses will have a shorter cooldown compared to more rarer horses. So Peach Rose has not been bred yet, so there is no cooldown on Peach Rose at the moment. We need a stallion. Who are we going to breed her with? Hmm. So, um, I need to pick a random stallion. Shall we go with Lamrage? Eclipse. Let's go with Eclipse. I haven't bred Eclipse yet, I don't think. No, I don't think I have. All right. So we're going to cross her with Eclipse. Now, Eclipse has 358 bonds, so he is good to go. Now, if you do have, where is it in food? If you do have golden apples, they are excellent for getting the bond up with horses. So it'll actually give you 50 bond with one golden apple. You can also use other items like old Easter eggs if you still have them, carrots, stuff like that. If your horse needs attention, like it needs water or its hooves picked, that will make the bond go up as well. Alrighty. So let's talk to Francine and breed a foal. So I want a foal. First up, so this pink symbol is for man. Here we go. So we're going with Peach Rose, who is a pure white Frisian. And for the stallion, we are going with Eclipse. Now this is all the different chances of what the foal could 
B. So we have a 28.26% chance of getting a black Sabino Arabian. 18% chance of a common Arabian coat. So you see how it's Arabian cross Frisian. That means that the foal will be Arabian looking. 16% chance of a white Frisian. 14 of white Arabian. 12% chance of black Sabino Frisian, which is what we want. And a 9.59% of a random common Frisian coat. So the cost to breed is $4,048. So let's see what the foal turns out to be. Yes. Oh, I've got an achievement too. Here we go. We have a chestnut coat Arabian. So this is not a rare coat. This is a common coat, but it is super cute. So 9% chance and it is a colt. So 47% pure bread. So we do have um, pure bread stats now, which is really, really cool. I love that. Oh my gosh. Okay, hang on. Let's bring him out. <gasps> Hi! Oh, he's adorable! Come here, Dallin. We're gonna have a closer look. Oh my gosh, this is so cute! Oh my gosh, they're so cute! So, a colt is a baby male horse, a filly is a baby female horse. Oh my gosh, you are so adorable. Look. Oh, I love this so much. So I will have to wait five minutes to breed again. Oh my gosh, you are so cute. Absolutely adorable. It has all the stats here. Oh my gosh, it tells you the percentage of growth as well. So foals take up to five hours of in-game play. So you have to be playing in-game. So five hours to become an adult. Foals do not need to be anywhere specific to grow. As long as you're online, they'll grow. So even if they're in your inventory or running around in the yard, they will grow up. They are, of course, um, able to trade foals as well. So up until they're very close to being fully grown, so within 10 minutes is the cut off. So you cannot style a foal's hair until it's grown up, but you can dye it. So if you have dye that you'd like to put on your foal, you can certainly do that. Oh, paycheck. Now, all the information I am getting from the Happy Acres Discord group. To get onto the Discord group, they do have a link on the game's wall. So you can press on that button. It'll take you straight through to their Discord. But I will, of course, pin a comment down below of all the information about the update that Trick has put onto Discord. Alrighty, guys. Let's head back to my island, put this little foal in the paddock, and we will go see who Isabella was bred with and what the foal turned out to be. In a previous video, I left the option up to you guys to choose who Isabella's stallion will be. There was an option of 12 different stallions. It turned into 11 because event horses cannot be bred. You can use the foal potion on them to make an event horse into a foal, but you cannot breed them. So I counted up all the votes and it was a very close, close win. So the winner of the stallion that is going to be bred with Isabella first, Galaxy's Angel. So Galaxy's Angel was bred with Isabella first. Eclipse, the Arabian, came in a very close second. So Isabella was bred with a pure white Frisian stallion. And are you ready for the results? 
Here we go. Isabella had a beautiful little Frisian colt who actually turned out to be a black pinto Frisian. I couldn't believe it. I was so sure that they would throw a little white baby Frisian. <laughs> It actually turned out to be a black pinto, and isn't he beautiful? He is so cute. Oh, let me zoom in. He's so tiny. Oh, I love him so much. So this is the first foal to be bred by me. Oh, he's a adorable i absolutely love him now in the original video i tried to record i did also breed this guy so this little boy is a dapple palomino Frisian cross clydesdale which i am super super excited for i wanted a palomino Frisian, and i got a dapple palomino one I could not believe it. So this is the third horse that I bred and I could not believe my luck. So he is already at 26% grown. I will do another video later on showing all the foals grown up. But oh my gosh, I could not believe it. I also bred, oh, come back. This is the fourth foal I bred. This one right here. So this one is an Arabian cross, uh, sorry, thoroughbred cross Arabian. Grow up to look like a thoroughbred and it has a bay coat. So it's actually my first filly as well. So all the rest are colts. And the third foal that I bred is this one here. So this colt is a Appaloosa cross Frisian. So it ended up with the Appaloosa body. And I used a growth potion on him. So he instantly grew up. Oh my gosh. So we're going to put him in the pasture because technically he was a foal. So, so far, these are the ones that I have bred. Let's get out our latest Oh, this little Arabian Frisian. Hi. All right, you can go join all the babies. There you go. Now, I'm going to pick up this one here so he stops running away. Here we go. And this is the Valentine Halter on a foal. Isn't it the cutest thing ever? It is so adorable. Adorable. I absolutely love it. It is so, so cute. Another really cool thing I want to note on is you can speed up the growing time by taking care of your foal. So doing the task. So this little guy here, you can see it's come up with it would like its hooves picked. So if we go into equipment, hoof pick, equip. There we go. So, oh my God, it's so cute. There. Very cute. So that will actually speed up the process a bit as well. So if you take care of your foals, they will grow up faster. The more of these type of tasks that you do do for your foal, the higher its stats will be once it's an adult. So you definitely want to care for your horses if you'd like their stats to be higher. This will be really interesting to see because you cannot see the foal's stats until it's fully grown. So you may as well do what you can for better odds. Alrighty, I'm going to let this little boy run around for a bit longer. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. So I'm going to actually flash some moments from the original video that I do want to still include. I met some really, really wonderful people and we had a lot of fun. And I also had a lot of help with the thumbnail as well. So thank you to everyone that came over to my island and helped me create the thumbnail for this video. Before
before we finish up the video, let's check out what the next update is going to be. So we have a lot of information about the latest update here and the next update, yes, I was hoping they would do this one next. So next update is the Andalusians and Royal Island. So a little while ago now, there was a competition held on the Happy Acres Discord group for people to come up with ideas for a new island and Royal Island was the winner. So we're not only going to have a brand new island, we're also going to have a new horse breed, the Andalusians, brought into the game, which is super exciting. I swear every update just gets better and better. Cavalieri and Trick do such an amazing, amazing job with this game. They are honestly such incredible developers and you can see that they pour so much love and time and effort into this game. We as a whole community, I'm positive I can speak for everyone when we say thank you. Thank you so much for everything that you have been putting into this game. We absolutely love it. It's the best horse game on Roblox and I'm so excited to continue the journey and see where it goes. Alrighty guys, I shall leave this video here. Keep an eye out for future videos which will show what the foals look like and also what other foals I breed. There is actually quite an exciting one coming up that is planned. So definitely keep an eye out for those ones and I shall catch you all in the next video.